So our question for 1Q9A for this week is, my contact form receives a lot of unwanted email. What methods do you recommend using to keep bots and spammers away? Good question, good question. I'm gonna answer it by telling a little story or giving a little example. Imagine a world where um, in order to go into a shop and make a purchase, you first of all had to have a police check done. You see, um, people were getting so fed up with the whole business of uh, shoplifting and shop owners were losing a lot of money and it was frustrating for them. So they decided now, before somebody can come around our shop, we need to know that they're not a shoplifter, we need to know they're not a criminal. And so we're going to do a police check when they come through the door. So as you arrive at the shop, the first thing you're asked to do is fill out a form um, saying who you are, etc. So that they can look up and do a police check. It would be devastating, wouldn't it, for, um, for the high street shops. But that is what a lot of website owners seem to do in order to deal with the problem of spam. They ask people to complete capture forms and... Um, and if not, capture forms one of the, the variety of questions that you need to complete to prove you're a human. Yes, some of these have massive accessibility issues. Yes, some of them are just impossible to complete. But even the good ones I have a problem with. I have a problem with the idea of making your problem as the website owner the problem of your users. It's not down to your users to prove that they are human in the same way as you would never expect to prove you're not a shoplifter when going into a shop. It is down to the shop owner or the website owner to find a method to minimise the problems that they face. So I'm not a great fan about, of using any kind of capture technique or anything that um, requires the user to take action. So what are your alternatives? Well, there are a couple of ways to go. Um, there are some great spam protection tools out there. Kismet is a well-known one that's built into things like WordPress, um, and that does an excellent job. It doesn't get all the spam, but it certainly makes it enough to be manageable. Um, the second option is to try something called a honey trap technique. Now, instead of making users fill in extra field on a form, um, in order to prove that they are actually human, why don't you trick the spam bots into filling in a form that shouldn't be filled in? So, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you add a field into your form um, that's got a really enticing um, uh, name to it that spam bots are going to want to fill in, something like message, for example. And then what you do is hide that away from users. Spam bots will still see it, they'll complete it, but a user will never see the field and so will never complete it. And what you can do is check when that field is submitted to see whether the field has been filled in. If it has, you know that you're dealing with a spam bot. If it hasn't, you know you're dealing with a human and you can allow it through. Again, this is not a perfect technique, but it's better than shoving the problem onto your users. The reality is, if you're running a website, you are going to have to moderate and deal with spam. There is no way around it. There are ways of minimizing it, but not ways of getting rid of it, at least not without putting users to an inconvenience. And that, I think, is the last thing any of us want to do.